All right. And by the way, I'm sorry for the background noise. My four and a half year old is playing Dream Phone. That's right, the game from the 90s. Anyway, um, okay, so these are our three computer books. This one's our brand new one, and I'll start with this because this is for the youngest. Um, I would suggest, um, so usually our look inside books, I will say, are great for three, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, six-year-olds. Um, in this case, because of the content, I would say it's probably better for five-year-olds and up. Um, just because it's so abstract, some of the stuff. Um, I, I'm reading some of it to Weston, who's four, and he doesn't fully get it, but some of the stuff he does. And he still finds it very interesting um, to look inside of different things. And I'll show you the screen. This is the page he really loves. Because there's a keyboard, and um, you can teach him all about the parts. So there are parts about it that are definitely good for the younger ones. But like this kind of stuff, like he doesn't understand circuits and all that. Um, and inside the computer and the motherboard and RAM and what that memory means and all that stuff. So I honestly think adults should probably read through this because I myself, I'm fairly savvy with technology. However, the hardware component is a little over my head. So. Um, I think it's a, it's a wonderful resource for even adults to learn because our kids are going to grow up with this um, at a totally different level than we did. So um, I'll show you some of those pages. It's quite fascinating, actually, and it talks about the, the, the Internet as well, which is just really above my head how it actually happens. But I'm going to study up on this. <laughs> so anyway, and then it also has the history of it, too. So kind of, there you go. And then kind of servers and that kind of thing. So that's the look inside. And then our lip, the flap one is for older kids. So I would say definitely seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. And I really do mean and up. This is because it's this stuff gets a little bit more in depth. Um, so there's some obvious stuff that's, you know, computers come in different shapes and sizes because it's designed to be set up on the desk. But that's simple and all that, but then there's more difficult. So it talks about what coding is and like how the coding works to run programs on your computer. Um, I'll just show you real quick the pages. There's, it's actually really, really hard to open flaps when you're looking at your phone. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's kind of similar in content. It has a little bit more about the coding part. But then it talks about also how computers think with binary codes, which is way too abstract for the littlest ones, um, about pixels and storing pictures and how that works, which I also don't know any of that, even though I'm also a photographer, I should probably learn that, right? Um, this treasure trail is Pixel the Pirates hunting for treasure. Can you help him follow the instructions to find it, dodging the dangers along the way? Lip the flaps as you go to check you're on track. So it's kind of a little game that goes with it. And it it's doing that because it shows you that's what computers do. They're following instructions. So anyway, computer language, creating better code, using the internet, and then on the background, it's the history of computers. So it's I would definitely say if you're if you have a six-year-old or a five-year-old. Or I'm sorry, if you have a six-year-old or seven-year-old, you might want to just go with this one. If you have a younger kid, I would go with the look inside. And then they'll it'll be fine. I wouldn't I, you wouldn't need both of them, is my point. Okay, so this one is a completely different type of book. This is coding for beginners using Scratch. Now, if you don't know anything about Scratch, because I really don't know other than what I've kind of looked through on this book, Scratch is a free program. Like you can download it to your computer for free. And um, this is the contents. And it explains what coding is, so that is a similarity. Well, then it talks about the program. So you open this program up, and it will um, walk you through what to do. Um, but these are little tasks. These are like little homework assignments. So this is a game that you can create. The object of the game is to keep your mouse pointer one step ahead of the cat. If the cat touches the mouse pointer, it says, got you, and the game is over. So it walks you through all the conditions to build it. And then this one is building a band. So all of these are different games or animations that you can create by following these instructions. It is actually quite fascinating. And I've had one customer talk to me that she could not get her kid to read anything, like nothing. 
And this book, he doesn't put down. He has it with him. He takes it with on the laptop when he gets to spend his 20 minutes or 30 minutes a day on a computer. This is what he's choosing to do. He is eight years old. Um, so he can read this himself, but he does, she said he does kind of come to her a couple of times if he doesn't understand something. Um, so, and she said he's just really good at technology. So I'm telling you all that because I think this is great for older kids too, but an eight, seven year old and an eight year old could also do some of it with the help of a parent. Um, I might actually try it myself because I just want to know what it's like and I'll see if Weston wants to learn it when he, you know, as he grows older. And in the background there's um, useful stuff like menu guide and I believe there's a glossary. So you know all about the program and the different styles you can do it and how to get the data and then there's a glossary. Um, so anyway, that is the coding book and this was way longer than I was anticipating but I kind of got into it. There you go, guys.